is post-production? And why is it so important to the creation of portraits? Aloha, I'm Stan Cox II, photographic portrait artist. And in this short video, I will explain what portrait post-production is and why it is vital to the creation of portraits. In the previous videos in this series, I've given definitions for photography and portraits. I've talked about artistic intent, planning, and preparation for portraiture. We've discussed lighting, camera angles, and composition. Those are all parts of the production end of creating portraits. Now I'm going to talk about the post-production part of portrait creation. Prior to the digital revolution, retouching and artwork was done actually right on the negative of the film and on the print of the portrait itself. A very tedious and costly procedure. Thank God for digital photography and Photoshop. There are three primary phases of post-production for portraits. First, there's the color, saturation, uh, and contrast adjustments. Then, there's artwork and enhancements. And finally, there's printing and finishing of the portraits. What used to be done in the dark room with color filters, dodging, and burning is now done on a computer utilizing sophisticated software programs like Photoshop. In portraiture, it is vitally important that the skin tones are correct and pleasing. Actually, I would say it's more important that they be pleasing than correct. And the color temperature of the light is a major player in this particular area. Now in Photoshop, it's a simple matter to change the color temperature of the light. Likewise, it is a simple matter to adjust the saturation of the colors and adjust the contrast in the image. These adjustments are judgment calls on the part of the portrait artist. So it's a matter of aesthetics and personal preference. Then there's the artwork. In portraiture, one of the objectives is to make an image that is complementary to the subject. So the artwork will include things like removing blemishes, softening lines and wrinkles, enhancing the eyes, and whitening teeth. The artwork may also include techniques that further draw the viewer's attention to the subject such as vignetting or selective blurring. So, just as art is in the eyes of the beholder, it is impossible to list everything that an artist may include in the enhancements and artwork to a portrait. All these enhancements are indispensable in the process of turning a photograph into a portrait. For more information on how you can have your perfect portrait created for you, go to yourperfectportrait.net. In the next video, I'll talk about printing and finishing portraits. See you next time. Mahalo for watching.